Joe, Scotty, we're here to uh, keep in contact with you guys, keep you in the loop, okay? We're um, going to be coming to you daily if we can. Let's hope, fingers crossed, to keep you fit online, okay? Um, hopefully our emails, Scotty and, and myself will have our emails linked to anything that we publish so that if you guys want a little more info, if you want an update, anything like that, you just uh, send it to me, uh, email, well, either of us. Yeah, either of us. Either way. Uh, and um, we can write some workouts for you. Now, if you have any particular requirements, if you've got equipment at home, anything like that, if you let us know, we can send a picture of what you do have at home, we can write a workout That's based right. on what you have at home, okay? If you're thinking about buying some stuff, ask us, we'll tell you what to get, like you get bands and, and skip ropes and all that sort Kettle of stuff. Kettlebells, all the good Kettlebells, bells. all that sort of stuff. And there's plenty out there, okay? So what we're hoping is that daily we can give you something that you can work out. We've got a little bit of pair, something uh, pretty, well, it's not that intense, but I'll give you a low impact option if it needs to be. All right, so you want to go out there? Yeah, I might as well. So today what we've got is a cardio circuit. So what you're going to do is fill all the moves on the post. You'll be able to read them. What we're going to start with, 40 jumping jacks. So if you did the Fed challenge, you're already be a master of jumping jacks. We did heaps of those. So Joey's going to then know some jumping jacks. Oh, so we want to keep narrow at the top, we're wide, in, well look at this big cable there. So all narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow. You're on your toes, you've got big arms, big legs, uh, going to get your heart rate up, going to burn a few calories and that's what you're looking for. So right? 40 straight away. And then as soon as that's done, 35 high knees. Now they'll be counting one leg only. So yes, that's right. So I'm going to count the one leg. One, two, three, up till I get to 35. So that's 35 high knees per side. 70 if you're good at maths. All right. <laughs> now, not just cardio on that. You see what's going on. He's got on his toes. He's working his calves. He's working his uh, legs. Wow. Heart rate's going up as well. So that's a good thing. All right. Now, the 30 now climbers. I guess I'm going now. Yeah, you're going to go. So, we want to get into that push-up plank position. Strong through the hips. Yeah, strong through the hips. Suck that belly in. We don't want to be up like a TV. We we'll have our hips down on the ground. We're not stretching. Then, we're going to bring the knee underneath the chest. Then back to where we started. Change leg. So you can go pretty fast if you like. Make sure you do 30 on each side. If you need to, go round and do one knee at a time. See how you go. All right, so you've got a lot of things going on there. You've got your core to stabilise here. You've got your legs moving. You've got your stabilisers through your shoulders, your chest, and your arms are working. Yeah. And the triceps. Good exercise, okay? So skaters. So lateral movement, sideways, they're all pretty good at working in straight lines, but what about sideways? What about working inside and outside? So skate the Scotty! Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Alright, so let's start with the basic option first, for those who aren't as coordinated as some. What we're going to do, we can just do the side to side low step. So that's nice and easy. Low impact. Low impact, that's right. But if you can do the high impact and you want a bit more, jumping left to right, using the arms for a bit of momentum and a bit of balance, we land and then we push off the outside of that leg. So we're pushing as we land. Anyway, yeah. that, does that no, the only thing I want you guys to concentrate on is the stability of your knee, particularly with that sideways movement. If it's buckling either way, you need to focus on that. Okay? You can always that. Yeah, no, that, go back down, make it nice and easy. Yeah. Protect your joints. Yeah. Alright, what have we got else there? Uh, 20 yeah. plank jacks. Plank jacks. Back on the ground. We might as well call this a bird. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> so that same position we talked about earlier. We want the push-up plank, then all we're going to do, we're either going to jump out, jump in, or for the lower impact, step out, step out, step in, step in. Either or either, we're still working in the whole core area, we're still focusing on stability, don't let the hips come up or down. Alright, and what you would have noticed then with Scotty's hips is he wasn't dropping them up and down as he jumped out. That's important, you don't want to put place any stress through the lower back by doing it. Okay, so tummy in. All right, we've got 15 squats. I think you do that. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Now, the most important thing with squats is that you guys have got really good, strong, firm base. You can do wide leg or narrow leg. It doesn't matter. But as you drop, try and sit, okay? Get that upright posture in your back nice and strong, all that sort of stuff. So we don't want you dropping here. We don't we want you just focusing out in front, dropping into a squat and returning. Now, if you want to involve the arms, that's even better. It's down here. It's up again. It's a cool move. Big move, actually. You've got legs working. Involved, got a bit of core stability, a bit of lower back. Good move, okay? So 15 squats, pump them out as good as you can. Alright, next. 10 fast feet with a 180 jump. So it's a little bit of a combination. You've got to do two moves and it counts as one. So fast feet. This is why I'm doing this one. Joey hasn't got fast feet. So 10 on the spot, real quick. 
and then turn around, turn facing this way, turn around. So every time you do that jump, that's going to count as one rep. So you're going to do 10 total, that's 100 fast feet. Once again, my map's on today, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, finally, finally the burpee. Now, we want to keep this burpee simple so it doesn't injure you. So what I suggest that you guys do is get very deep into a squat first. Put your hands down, okay, that's safe. Legs straight out into a nice plank. You can add the push-up, we're going to add a push-up, so don't worry. We can add one if you want. Add a quick push-up, then bring your feet back in and stand up, okay? Keep it simple. I get a lot of people that throw their burpees right here. Down, oh, that's crazy and dangerous. Just get low into a squat, go into a plank, bring it back in, stand up. If you want to add a jump into that, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you know <laughs> the option. Down. The guys here at the Fed Challenge, you know the option for burpees. We don't mind if you just do a squat with a double high knee. That can be your low impact option as well if you like. All right. Well, that just that sums us up. That's something you guys can do over the weekend. It is Friday, of course. Good luck. You've got to complete it two minimum. If you're going pretty good, see if you get five rounds done. Or somewhere in between. Yeah, five rounds. That, oof, that should get you going. I'll do the two, so you will do the five. <laughs> Hey, it's been awesome talking to you today. We will stay in contact. If you email us, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Please hit us up with any questions we haven't forgotten about you. Ciao for now. Ciao. Hopefully that's awesome. <laughs>